Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing a uh, beginner tutorial on OpenOffice Calc. So I'm going to go ahead and open OpenOffice Calc. It should be within my OpenOffice package. So I'll hit the drop down and I'll find OpenOffice Calc and open it. OpenOffice Calc is the equivalent of Microsoft uh, Excel. Now it can look quite confusing at first when you open it up, um, but it's actually not so hard to use once you just learn the basics. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that each one of these squares are called cells and that you can type any kind of text or data into these cells, any numbers you want to put. So I'm just going to start by making some columns. So I'm going to title the first column. The column A is going to be titled name. Okay. And you can press tab to go into the next um, cell. And I'm going to go ahead and say age for my second column. And we'll say, let's pretend we're a bank and, and these people all have bank accounts. So I'm going to say uh, account balance is going to be the, the last column. Okay. So we've, we've named some, some columns. And columns are the vertical columns. Uh, uh, the vertical lines and the rows are the horizontal lines. Um, so first thing that I want to show you is, it, as you can see, I typed account balance on column C, and it's kind of hanging out of the, the column. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to resize columns and resize rows. So to resize this entire column, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select up here Oh, on, where it says C. I'm going to select that entire column. And then to resize this, all I'm going to do is hover my mouse over to the right edge. And you'll see that the mouse uh, icon turns to a line with two, two arrows coming out of it. So I'll left click and I'll just drag that to, to adjust the width right to where it looks like it'll fit. And you can see now that account balance fits within the column. And same thing if you wanted to resize the rows. Um, you can select the entire row and then hover over the edge that you want to move until it turns to a thick line with two arrows coming out of it. You can left click and then drag that to whatever height you want. So you can see that, uh, it, that now it, it's changed. Okay. So, um, the first thing I, so that's basically how to, um, how to resize uh, your columns and resize your rows. The next thing I want to do is uh, to put some some data in here. So I'm going to fill out the names column. I'm going to say uh, we've got Diane, uh, Charlie, uh, Bob, uh, Peter, and Paul. Okay. And then I'm going to say, oh, Diane's 40, Charlie's 23, Bob's uh, 30, Peter's 20, and Paul's uh, 28. Um, just some random ages. And uh, then we'll just say Diane's got $200 in her account balance. Charlie has 150, Bob has 20, Peter has $25.35, and Paul has $50. Okay. So, um, the first thing, I'll, the next thing I want to show you, I guess not the first thing, the next thing I want to show you is how to format your rows and your columns, or you can even just format each cell. So if I right click on this cell, I can choose format cells, but I want to re I want to format everything in each of these columns all at once. So what I'm going to do is select the whole column for name. Okay. And I want to format all this just to be normal text. So if I right click, in the drop down menu, I can see format cells. So I'm going to select format cells. And you'll see a dialog bo box appears called format cells. And it has columns. And the first column is the numbers column. And it gives me categories with, along with a box for the formats. So right now it's set on number. So I want to change that. I want it to just be a text, which if you scroll down, you'll see that it has a text category. And there's not a list of formats, it's just regular text. So I can go ahead and click OK. 
nothing will change, but now it, it recognizes that everything in this column is just gonna be text. Okay, now the age column, I'm gonna select that by left clicking on the column. Um, the age is, is numbers, so I'm gonna go ahead and format that by numbers. I'm gonna right click, and in the drop down menu, I'm going to select format cells. And once again, under the number columns in the format cells dialog box, you'll see um, that I can choose uh, any number of categories. It's already selected on number and a general number. So actually, I don't really need to change anything on this column. I'm going to leave it alone and just click OK. Now, if I select column C by left clicking, um, I can see that these are supposed to be dollar amounts because this is somebody's account balance. This is money we're talking about. So what I would like is to have a dollar sign and I would like it to have two decimal places like for a change. As you can see, Peter's got 35 cents. So it would just look nicer. So what I'm going to do is after selecting the, the column, I'm going to left or I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the format cells option in the drop down menu. And once again, in the format cells dialog box under the numbers, uh, tab, you can see all sorts of um, categories. Now, it's already set on a number category, but it's not recognizing it as money. If you look down, you'll see that it has a category called currency. So I'm going to select cur currency, and you can see that there are all kinds of different formats for currency. I can have a dollar sign with no decimal places, and it will tell me if the number is negative or not. And then there's another one that has no decimal places that turns the number red if if the number is negative, which I don't have any negative numbers, so I don't need it to be red. But I do also want there to be two decimal places. So right here, there's one. It leaves it all uh, black text, um, and it gives me a dollar sign. It will add a comma if it's uh, over $1,000, and it will also give me a decimal place, two decimal places for change. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'm going to click OK. And you can see that um, it, now it has changed all of the numbers to be dollar amounts with two decimal places for change. Okay. So now what I want to show you how to do is how to sort this data. Um, to sort the data, if I wanted to know who has the largest bank account, all I have to do is left click on the entire column and I can go up to this button here that says it's got A with an arrow down to Z, A to Z. And it says, if I hover over it, it says sort ascending. So what that will do is sort from the smallest number to the largest number or the smallest value to the largest no value. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sort ascending. And it will come up with a, a box that asks me what, whether I want to sort all of this data right here by extending the selection because I only have this uh, column selected. This will select all of the data and sort everything by how much money um, they have. That's what I want. If I was to just do current selection, it will only sort this column, but it will not move any of this data. But we want to know who has the most money. So I'm going to go ahead and hit extend selection. And as you can see, it has sorted all the people by smallest amount in their bank account by the largest amount in their bank account. So you can see that Bob has the least amount of money and Diane has the most amount of money. I can also do this by age. If I want to select the age column, I can hit sort ascending and I can hit extend selection in order to, uh, f to sort all of the data. And now it sorts everybody by the youngest person and by the oldest person. So now I can see that the youngest person only has $25, the oldest person has uh, 200. Okay. I can also sort by name if I wanted this to be alphabetic or alphabetical. I don't, uh, <laughs> um, I can sort that. That's why it has an A to Z. Now it'll sort uh, ascending. Um, it'll sort from A to Z. I'll hit that and I'll hit extend selection so it sorts all of the data. And now I have a nice A to Z um, alphabetic uh, uh, sorting. Now I can also, if I wanted to sort, say I wanted to sort, we already sorted by the least amount of money to the most amount of money, but if I wanted to go most amount of money to least amount of money, you can see that right to the right of this sort ascending button is a sort descending button, that, and it shows Z to A. So that will sort um, everything by the most amount of money down to the least amount of money. And so I clicked that, and I want it to sort everything, so I hit extend selection. And now you can see that it has sorted, it puts the large person with the largest amount of money on top and the person with the least amount of money on bottom. 
So that's how to sort. Um, the, the last thing I want to show you how to do is how to insert uh, a column. So if I wanted to insert a column here between age and account balance, what I will do is select that column by left clicking it. And then I'll right click anywhere uh, in that column and hit the insert button in the drop down menu. And you can see that it has inserted a button. I'll go ahead and call this date. And I press enter to, to go down into the next, uh, the next uh, cell. And I'm just going to give it a generic date. I'll say 125-2017. And you can see it changes it to 01 slash dash or slash 25 slash 17. Well, I want this to say 2017. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire column. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose format cells from the drop down menu. And you can see in the category uh, box of the numbers tab that there is a date uh, category. And you can see all these different um, formats in the format box of different kinds of dates. Well, I can see here that it says 1231-1999 instead of 1231-99. So I'm going to choose that in order to be able to, for it to say 2017. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that now it says 01-25-17. Well, I was just doing that to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, column. To delete to delete a column, I'm just going to select the entire column that I want to delete. I'm going to right click and you'll see that I can either delete the contents of the column so, or I can delete the entire column. I'll delete the contents just to show you. It asked me if I want to delete all, delete text, delete just numbers. I'll go ahead and just delete all. And so that clears the column. And then to actually delete the whole column, right click and you can just hit delete and it will delete the whole column. Same thing to insert a row, it's just the same. You'll select the row below the where you want your new row, row to be. You'll right click and anywhere in that row and you'll hit insert rows. And you'll see that a new row has formed and I can, can insert a row. I'm just gonna hit undo because I don't have any other people that I need to put in this list. And then the last thing is, is how to move uh, a column or a row. To move a column, say I want this account balance column to be to the left of this age column, what I'm going to do is select the account balance column by right clicking. And then I'm going to hold the alt button. And then I'm going to left click um, anywhere inside this uh, column. I'm not going to choose the header of the column right here. I want it anywhere inside the actual selection. So I'm going to left click and now I can drag it where I want it to go. And you see once I've dragged it over, there's this thick line that appears where it's going to be. So if I let go of the mouse, it now moves account balance to the left of age. And the same thing, if I wanted to move a row, I'll select the row that I want by left clicking. I'll hold the Alt button, and then I can click and drag it anywhere I want, and that thick line will appear wherever the row will be moved to. And when I let go, it moves it. And, say, and so say I want to just move a cell, moving just a single cell is the same thing. You'll select that cell, get it to where it's highlighted in blue. And then if I hold Alt and I left click, I can drag this cell anywhere I want to drag it, which I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit Undo. So there it is. That should be enough to get you started. Um, I showed you um, how to create a... Uh, rows and columns, um, how to uh, adjust the size of a row or a column, um, how to sort uh, ascending and descending uh, values in columns or rows, showed you how to uh, insert new columns, and how to move columns or rows around. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe.